Hello and welcome to Talk Wargaming. We're back with another Zombicide painting tutorial and this time we'll be showing you how to paint the Toxic Fatty from Toxic City Moor. All the paints that I'll be using in this tutorial can be found in the Army Painters Zombicide paint sets. After cleaning and preparing the miniature it is time to base coat it. I've used Brain Matter Beige however you could also use a white to get kind of like a nice pallid colour. We will now be starting on the clothes and for the jeans I'll be using the Wasted Jeans paint. With the jeans completed, it's now time to move on to the shirt. Now for this, I'm using mouldy clothes. Now for this layer, you can actually choose whatever paint you want to uh, use on the top. I've just chosen green as I think it will contrast quite nicely with the pink and the white. We will now be moving on to the boils and this is covering the entire miniature so they're all over and for this I'll be using toxic boils unsurprisingly. For both the spikes and the teeth I will be using bony spikes. The next step is to paint the shoes and also the lanyard. For this I've used dead black, but just be careful when you actually paint the lanyard as it's quite thin and you don't want to overspill onto the skin. For the card on the end of the lanyard and also for the highlights on the boots I'll be using um, Filthy Suit. So now that we have the base colours down for the miniature, it's now time to add some definition. Now for this I'll be using Zombie Shader. You can use this paint across the entirety of the miniatures, but I'd avoid using on the boils just now. We will now be adding the same definition to the boils and for this we'll be using the toxic shader. Now you, when you do this layer you can actually see why I told you to avoid using the zombie shader on the boils as it makes them a lot brighter when you apply this layer. With the shading completed it's now time to add a few highlights and for this I'll be using zombie skin on the bony spikes and also the teeth. The final steps are to add some blood and gore to the zombie and for this we'll be using Crusted Sword to paint both the tongue, the inside of the mouth and also around the hands and the mouth as well to represent him feeding on the living. The final step is to achieve the fresher blood look and we'll be using glistening blood for this. Now we're painting it on the same areas as before but just not in um, as large quantities.
And there we have the completed Toxic Fatty from uh, Zombicide. Now you can actually use these same techniques across all of the uh, Toxic City miniatures, not just the fatties, you can use it on the Abomination and also the regular walkers as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to let us know in the comments and also subscribe to be kept up to date with any future tutorials we might do. Um, also, if there's any particular tutorial you'd like to see for a wargaming system, let us know and we'll do our best to accommodate you. As always, be sure to check us out at talkwargaming.com where you can find a whole host more content such as tutorials, editorials and news items as well. Thanks for watching and goodbye.